Good morning, everybody. We are at the Freiburg Fair. So last weekend we went to Common Ground, which was just kind of like a, we didn't show any goats. Um, we just went there with the goats to kind of talk to people so people could look at them. That was last weekend. I'll link the video somewhere so you can watch that if you want to. This weekend we came down to the Freiburg Fair, which is the biggest agricultural fair in the state of Maine. It's about two and a half hours from our house and we're showing the goats. So we showed up last night and I didn't record anything because we've just been so busy and we showed up kind of late and like it's just been a it's been a hectic two weeks. Um, and then we show this morning, show starts at eight o'clock. We were up at like four and then we're heading home after we walk around the fair. So we had a great breakfast this morning. We walked around the fair while it was still dark out, which is super creepy. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'll show us showing and then I will, I'll show you the rest of the fair as much as we can cover with the short amount of time that we're gonna be here. So I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody. It is three days post fair and I hardly recorded anything. So I'm going back through and I'm editing the video to kind of put a fair video together and it's quite short. It's missing so much stuff. So I did get us walking. I didn't get us walking crunch, but I'll kind of go over placings. So crunch got seven in a class of nine. So she wasn't all the way in the back. Um, and then I show us walking Cookie and Milky Way, our dry yearlings. Uh, I can't remember the exact placing or how big the class was. I think they were 10th and 11th or 11th and 12th. They had two goats behind them. And you'll see in one of the clips, I had lilac strapped to the front of me. She started to melt down at the very end of it. So I step out of the screen I leave Greg with both the goats and then um, <laughs> careful um, Kaylee who is a Nigerian dwarf breeder she stepped in she's in the 4H program um, she's awesome very helpful she stepped in and took over Lone Star for me so Greg wasn't stuck there with the two of them so thank you so much for her for doing that uh, her farm's called oh. Yeti Ridge, if you want to check it out. They've got some pretty impressive Nigerian dwarfs, if that's the type of goat that you're into. Um, and then I think I got some videos of Creeper, Creeper placed um, six in a class of 
nine. She had three goats behind her, so that's really cool. Cinnamon got third place in class of three, and the judge complimented her on her very prominent Roman nose, long neck, and long ears, uh, which are all very impressive on her. So overall, it was a really, really good time. I also have a little clip in there too. I got an ultrasound machine on the way down. I picked it up from a lady. She's letting me do a payment plan on it. So thank you so much to her for doing that. We wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise. Um, I checked out Cinnamon. I ended up having a lady come over and check her out because I just didn't know what I was looking for. And then I'll be posting a video with uh, pregnancy announcements and me ultrasounding the rest of our bread girls here pretty soon. So I'm really excited about that. Um, we have some really exciting pregnancy confirmations. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am, please don't drink that. <laughs> I am so sorry that I missed so much of the fair, but um, I'll try next time. We're done showing for the rest of the year. So this is it for this year, but we'll start back up probably at the Wicked Early Goat Show, which is at the end of May. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon with all of our pregnancy announcements.